Okay, welcome to another review. Um, right now I'm going to try out Bullguard. I think it's version 8.7. As you see, it's 68.3 megabytes. Uh, I'm not sure which engine it uses. I haven't done any research on it. I, was, I just got a request to test it out. So that's what I'm going to do. I have uh, like 13 brand new URLs, same ones that I used in my o iobit uh, security 360 review. So if you want to check out how that did against these signatures, you can uh, jump over there on my YouTube page and uh, check it out. So let's uh, begin the install here. Um, I'm going to go a little bit quick through these because an install is an install to me. Uh, you agree to license agreement, you install it. Uh, yeah, as you can see it's 8.7. So what I'm going to do while this is installing to keep the video nice and short and have enough time to check everything, I'm going to pause the video right now and if anything weird shows up during the install, I'll uh, come back and if not I'll see you when the install is all done okay so um, it installed and um, you see we got a pop up here um, you know we our grace period and all that stuff I had to, I had to restart the computer so uh, I'm trying to get it to open here okay here we go so let's uh, check for updates Okay, so that's checking for updates. See what we got here for settings or anything. Let's go to the antivirus. Okay, now these windows are all um, weird because I have the writing bigger on uh, the machine here. So, um, to make it easier for you guys to see. We're going to enable the web monitoring. I'm definitely going to turn that on. Okay, maybe nah, maybe I can't do that while it's updating. Okay, so while this is updating and deciding on doing whatever it's doing. There we go. Sheesh. Okay, so let's see what else we got. Okay, detect spyware. That's good. Scanner, you can scan. Okay, scan my computer. We're not going to scan the computer right now. We'll do a scan after we install all the uh, nasty malware. There's a firewall, so that's good. So, as you saw, it's updated. One minute ago, we'll check it again. Okay, so it's still updating, so um, I'll give it a second here to finish. Okay, so the update's done. I actually had to restart, and uh, that's all done and taken care of. So let's get going on some of these links. Okay, so I'm not, I think I'm going to turn off that web guard because um, I see that it's actually slowed down the internet. So let's see what that does. I'm going to leave it like it was. That's the only thing I turned on. Okay, so it did leave, leave something out. The uh, didn't catch anything, but it let the network let something out. I know one of these kills out. Oh, okay, there you go. That one got caught. So that's good. Two out of one so far. Or uh, one out of two. Why did I say two out of one? That's Okay, so it's only caught one so far. Okay, that one's, I think, dead. Well, 
let that keep working. I think this is the one that killed it. But it already might be down, so you never know. Okay, caught that one, so that's good. It's a virus, they use a generic and heuristic, so that's good. Okay, I got a warning from the network traffic. Let's see, quick print app wrapper application. So uh, it'll automatically select no, so we'll select no too. I never got to these last ones in my last review, so I, I don't know which ones work, which ones don't. Let me close that and start a new one here. There you go. As you can see, it worked. The internet works much faster now since I turned off the uh, the web guard left it just like it's supposed to be, I guess. Okay, that one works. Okay, another allow network traffic. It's usually going to pick no, but this time I just want to see what it does. So I'm going to actually say yes and see if we get any more warnings from Okay, in internet optimizer. Okay, we'll say yes again. We keep getting stuff from the firewall, but nothing from the actual. Okay, that one got caught, so that's good. Okay. We're getting another thing, so we'll let that go out too. So far it's just a firewall asking permission for programs to go out to nothing else. Um, so I'm going to let uh, Antivirus Pro 2010 install here. There you go, you can see it's still the firewall, so we'll let it go out. As you can see, it installed just, okay, I caught a Trojan, so that's good. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a full scan, um, wherever this is, there you go. Okay, so and we'll do a full scan here. And while this is scanning, I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back. Okay, so the scan just finished and it found two infections and uh, they're for antivirus uh, 2010. And it found a suspected rootkit infection right there. Um, but it says it's minor. That's kind of funny. Rootkits are not a minor thing. Um, and then it's just got some files and stuff that it couldn't mess with because they were being used. Uh, so we're going to hit fix here. Okay, and uh, okay, so you can't do any of that. So, what I'm going to do because the video is getting late here, I'm going to pause the video, install Malwarebytes, do a scan, and I'll be back when the results are uh, in. Okay, so the Malwarebytes scan just finished. It said I found 60 things. Let's check it out. And we definitely have some infections here. Uh, let's see, hijack, hijack, uh, antivirus pro, rogue installer, stolen data, trojan agent, uh, downloader, fake alert, coop face. This computer is definitely infected. So as you can see, Bulgar didn't do that great uh, of keeping the computer clean. Um, I'd give it like a maybe a 7 out of 10.